How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video. Today we are going to talk about a line of figures that I'm super passionate about and that is unfortunately ending because um, Hasbro makes some bad decisions, a lot of overproduction, a lot of other stuff. But we're going to talk about the Adventure series, why it should continue, what they need to make, and all the other improvements they should have done or made or continue to make if they want this line to continue, which I do, a lot of people do. They've only made very few characters from Indiana Jones, barely any of the bad guys. So yeah, with all that being said, we're going to get into all of that stuff and uh, talk about things that they could do to keep the line going. In my opinion, Wave 1 of the Adventure series is absolutely perfect. We get a wide range of characters, there's no repeats, we get an awesome build and artifact, which is the Ark of the Covenant, which is great storage for all of the accessories so far except for some of the bigger ones um, you know we get a couple bad guys we get three of the main characters the main heroes from the movie so that's all well and good the only thing I could say that wave one could have done better is maybe added one or two more bad guys maybe the German plane mechanic uh, or you know the big burly guy with the mustache that's beating the crap out of Indy and maybe the Cairo swordsman I don't know why they wouldn't include them they're not specifically offensive like the guy is just shirtless with pants on and a mustache and a beat up face, you can give him two heads, one with his normal, one with his broken nose and bloody lip, like it, 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 would, it would work because you got the melty face from Todd, but like, like I said, this wave is basically perfect as far as having five figures that are separate and build up the, the plot of the movie and give you a cool bonus of the Ark of the Covenant. So no problems here. Just wish we could have gotten a little bit more. And then of course Wave 1 also gave us some uh, exclusive and uh, online exclusive or whatever. I don't know how they did it um, because I got Donovan online even though he's supposed to be, I'm not sure what store, maybe Walmart? But I don't think Walmart even picked up the Adventure series. So, But regardless, we get two versions of Indiana Jones that are basically complete reuse other than the vest overlay and the accessories because the head, the jacket, the pants, all that stuff is the same. We get India from Club Obi Wan and Temple of Doom, and uh, Last Crusade, Professor Indiana Jones. Even though the suit isn't accurate to the accessories that he gets, it's still cool to have. And then, of course, we get Walter Donovan and Kazim from The Last Crusade. And Kazim comes with a bunch of cool weapons, and Donovan comes with a cool decaying head sculpt and a false grail and a gun. So, you know, no problems here. Uh, exclusives, you're, they're not essential, but they are for me because it's Indiana Jones. So, of course, I picked them all up. The only one I'm missing is Map Room Indy. Um, I haven't seen him in stores yet. He's not showing shipping to people from Target yet, so I just have to keep my eye out. Then we get into Wave 2, and here's where some of the problems start to stack up. Um, as you can see, there are three Indiana Jones in this wave. Two of them are from Temple of Doom. We get Short Round, which is awesome. We get the, the Sankara Stone uh, Trine, which is awesome. We get two, two characters from the new movie, which is fine, but uh, I think they should have been reserved for their own wave, maybe say a wave four or wave three, um, because this wave and the next wave are a mishmash of two different movies. This is Temple of Doom with no bad guys and no female lead, so no Willie, no Mola Ram, no thuggy, uh, big, burly, mean guy, um, no uh, Lao Shea, no, no, nobody, no bad guys from Temple of Doom. And then we get, of course, Dial of Destiny, um, Indy and Helena, which is fine, but they should have been reserved for their own wave because we have Valor, Ronaldo. Is it just Valor and Ronaldo from Dial of Destiny coming out in the next wave, which is The Last Crusade with Elsa, the Grail Knight, Henry Jones Ju Sr., and of course Henry Jones Jr., Indiana Jones with the tie and, uh, you know, his, his normal outfit. But, uh, you know, you could have made a whole wave dedicated to The Last Crusade. You could have made a whole wave dedicated to Temple of Doom. You could have made a whole wave dedicated to Dial of Destiny. And you could have made another wave dedicated to Kingdom Crystal, Crystal Skull because, like I said, we have three indies in this wave. We have a hypnotized indie, which I've heard rumors that Mala Ram was supposed to be in the, the line, but Disney said no, so they swapped it out for hypnotized indie, um, which you could have done Willy if not Mala Ram. Like, we get two of the three main characters from Temple of Doom. That's not cool. Like, the, I love this. I love that we're getting Indiana Jones, but Hasbro is, is like dropping the ball. We don't have any fodder. We don't have any bad guys for him to fight. Nobody for Indy to punch. That's what he does. He punch, punches Nazis and he does other things to Nazis that lead to them being unalive. So uh, we're missing that. And this is unfortunate. Like, who's going to make that? Uh, Big Ben Toy Store is doing this uh, Operation Monster Force, which has some like 
kind of German soldier-esque looking people, so I got those pre-ordered, and hopefully those work out in scale. But until then, we got nothing. And then, of course, we had the Wave 2 exclusives or deluxes or whatever. We had the two-pack of Marcus Brody and Renee Belloc and the Cairo Indie, which Cairo Indie cost $32. And all he came with was some extra hands and a monkey. As And the first Wave Indiana Jones came with extra hands and a build and artifact piece. It should have been the same price. You could make an exclusive, but you shouldn't mark it as deluxe. That was where Mala Ram was supposed to be, supposedly, was a deluxe figure, and instead they gave us another indie. Which is fine, we needed this Indiana Jones, but come on, like, where's the bad guys? We have another Belloc here, that's another bad guy that's repeated, and we have Marcus. Like, I love the figures, but this is reuse of Professor Jones' body, so he's as tall as Indiana Jones. He's not that tall. Marcus Brody's a little bit shorter. So, yeah, you know, there's some problems with this line. I get the reuse, I get that, but there's, there's also a video game coming out next year by Machine Games in Bethesda for Indiana Jones, so that's another reason to keep this line going. You have free marketing right there, you have another way to get more figures of Indiana Jones and bad guys into people's hands and keep the wave going because you haven't even touched the surface of characters. Like, you've got the whole Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, you've got Spelko, you've got Mutt, you've got Marion in that movie, you've got, oh my gosh, Hasbro, like, it's so disappointing to be an Indiana Jones fan and so amazing at the same time because we have the stuff but it's like not enough you're stopping the line you you're cutting it because the movie didn't do well and it's doing well on video on demand it's doing well on that stuff so you might as well keep the line going i'm still going to keep going i'm going to get the rest of the line i have a couple on i have the whole third wave on pre-order last crusade and i believe that's it i need to find the map room indiana jones but that's it for the indian jones line and that's unfortunate because we don't have any bad guys we don't have anything um, for t photography, for fun, for toy, you, you know, there's things that you need in toy line. And as much as I love Indiana Jones, Hasbro, come on, you got to give us more stuff. Like this isn't enough. So with all that being said, I hope y'all agree with what I uh, had to say about the adventure series, because like I said, I'm very passionate about it. Indiana Jones is my favorite. There's a lot of things that they did wrong as far as distribution and, and, uh, production and all that stuff and just making way too much. And, uh, a lot of stuff and Hasbro's just making kind of bungling the bag fumbling the bag all over the place but uh regardless I love you guys I will see you next time and bye bye